calculate the number of ways to place n rooks on n cross n chessboards with the following conditions are met means empty set is a render attack and exactly k pair of rooks attack each other okay when the two rooks will attack each other oh there are no ro other rooks between them i think it here it is 2 1 2 3 yeah n equal to 3 k equal to 2 so we have to place n rooks in n cross n chess board such that exactly k pairs of rooks are attacking each other hmm. here 1 and 2 are attacking 2 and 3 are attacking but 1 and 3 are not attacking and every cell must be under attack here if we choose any cell they are under attack yes what we have to do oh the number of ways these rooks can be placed yes n rooks hmm uh, n and k are huge 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 obviously number of ways we have to find we can place these n rooks under n cross n chess board yeah Yeah, I have to place in these uh, in these uh, rows and columns. So we have four. We can place if we place every rook in the first row. So n rooks in the first row. We have n minus one, one, two, three. So I think it will be n minus one attacks will be there. Uh, oh, it is the maximum number of attacks possible. Yes, yes. So if I place, if I move this anywhere, the number of moves. If I place it here, then this. column will not be under attack so i can place this rook in anywhere for this column to be under attack uh, so the maximum number of attacks possible is n minus 1 so i can say if k is greater than or equal to n the answer is going to be 0 yes yes uh, what if uh, yeah uh, that k equal to 0 i think how will we solve it k is equal to 0 so i don't want any number of attack so if i place the rook here i can i can take a rook and i can place in any of the rows so first rook can be placed in n ways second column inside the second column so uh, yeah in every column every row there must be a rook then only it can be attacked and there is no pair of rooks attacking each other so if i place suppose a rook here then in this column the rook cannot be present in this row in any of the columns so for the second column this option is not there uh, there are n minus 1 options so second rook can be placed in n minus 1 then if i place it suppose here then this row is also gone so for the third column the two previous rows have gone so for third column we can say n minus 2 uh, yeah so the, that means for the last column we can say there is one because for this column all the n minus 1 columns have taken n minus 1 rows that they should not attack each other for k equal to 0 yeah so it is nothing but n into n minus 1 into n minus 1 n minus 1 so it is n factorial yeah for the other cases how would we do that for the other cases let's see let's see let's see how would we do that for oh man it's not bad let's let's try here for the other values of n 
so my k is greater than 0 and it is less than n so k is not 0 i want at least one attack at least one attack uh, how uh, will how would we do that first uh, if uh, i place in each of the columns suppose want to place in each of the columns then want to place in each of the columns right if i place some mm, yes it is i think it is symmetric so it is two times the number of ways to place in the columns only that is all the text coming from the columns only not in row not from row like if i place this rook here one rook here and one rook in this row then this row is not in, in any other column there should not be any rook in this row there should not be any rook in this row there should not be any rook in this row yeah so i cannot place any rook in this row if i have placed some rook in this row in the first column so it is two times it is symmetric so let's focus on only placing the rooks in each column only so if i place x1 rook here in the first column x2 rook in the second column x3 rook in the third column and dot 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 i can place uh, how many columns i can place suppose x c c row c columns so i have x1 there some must be x1 plus x2 plus dot 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 plus xc in the cth column if i place so total number of rooks must be n if i placed x1 rooks there must be x1 minus one pair of attacks yes x1 minus 1 pair of attacks so i think it is n x1 minus 1 plus x2 minus 1 plus x3 minus 1 dot 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 xc minus 1 there's some age x1 plus x2 plus xc minus c that and this sum is n so this uh, is uh, number of attacks is exactly n minus c and this should be equal to k oh that means i have to place the k rooks in n minus uh, k columns only that means it is equal to c the number of columns i have to use it n minus k only oh n minus k columns only we have to use only n minus k columns to place these rooks to place these n rooks n minus k let's suppose it is c yeah how would I place those? Okay, we have to place n rooks in s exactly c columns. Uh, to place exactly n rooks uh, in c columns into c columns. How would we do that? Uh, it is nothing but grouping these n rooks into c columns because if first column suppose gets something like 1 5 and 7 seventh rook and second cannot get any of this so it will always be different so suppose 2 4 and 8 and 7 not 7 it is 9 the third column will get different from this oh so every column will get the numbers which are different so yeah so the first group gets this number second groups get this number and dot 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 cth group will get some number hmm. cth group some number and all of them are distinct so okay it is nothing but number of ways to group n objects into c groups exactly c groups it is uh, yeah it is inclusion exclusion how will you do that first let's choose those c columns 
it is nothing but angle c i want to place in these c columns only now i want to place n i want to choose those columns c columns where i want to place the my n rooks so uh, total number of ways to place n rooks in exactly c columns it is inclusion exclusion first without any condition let's place uh, so first rook can be placed in any of the c columns so c ways second rook can be placed in any of the ways any of the c columns without any restriction i will place so n f rook can be placed in c ways so total number of ways c ways to n but it will also contain some cases where exactly one column is empty exactly two column is empty exactly three column is empty see that three columns are empty four columns are empty so those cases we have to subtract or that uh, that is inclusion exclusion simple so i want to make only one column empty so i will choose from these i one column these three columns i will choose one column and i don't place any rook in here so i have only c minus 1 columns remaining and i can place these n rooks here okay plus for the two for the two it is nothing but c minus 2 right c minus 2 raised to n minus plus minus plus yeah it is simple inclusion exclusion how oh, it will go from c to 0 c minus 0 c minus 1 c minus 2 c minus c last is c minus c yeah yeah uh, so if it is odd then minus we are subtracting i think it is simple so we have these cases yeah it is the k greater than or equal to n it is zero k equal to zero it is n factorial otherwise this calculate and we have to sub multiply it by 2 because it is this is only for placing in the columns same thing we can do by rotating this uh, by 90 degree and so it will have two times that let's code it it is my template it is given modulo is this uh, we have taken it is the maximum value of n so it is 2 times this so 1 2 3 4 5 and we don't want test cases we want let's take a wait and then okay so if my q is greater than or equal to n it is 0 it is 0 if k is equal to 0 if my k is equal to 0 it is nothing but it is factorial of factorial is given by us greater than that array factorial of n and we will return 0 otherwise Let's uh, calculate first this sum. This sum mm, and then multiply it by n c c. First of all, c c was what? C was n minus k. Yeah. So let's have my c is equal to n minus k, and then for each of the i. For each of the i, we have we will have to take odd and even cases. If it is even, we are adding it. Adding it, we are adding it. It is nothing but it was c raised to first choose something c raised to i c n c choose i c minus i raised to n c choose i c minus n c r we create that function c choose i into power of c minus i raised to n yeah. but if it is odd then we have 
आंसर माइनस एन क्यूब आर ऑफ सी क्यूब आई टाइम्स पावर ऑफ सी माइनस आई रेस टू एन लेट्स टेक द मॉड आल्सो Calculate. We have to multiply it by N C C N C R C. So answer is equal to that. Let's multiply it by. Sorry, answer into N cube R N cube C mod mod. We have to double it because answer is equal to answer times two mod mod. Find the power function and MCR function. Power function. Put in the power function and put in the MCR function. Okay, it's like that. Let's call that M function. M cube bar. Yeah, M cube. Cube bar equal to M zero. Two equal to zero. M factorial. Otherwise, we have to calculate c equal to n minus two, and then for each of them, if it is odd, we will subtract this mod plus mod mod. Find even we will add it c cube i into c minus i raised to n. We have multiplied by this and doubled it. Yeah, I think it should work. Let's see, three comma two it should be. It should be zero. Fine. For four comma zero, it should be four factorial. Twenty four should be answer. Yeah. And for this thing, eight zero seven nine zero five four four one eight zero seven nine zero five four four one. Yeah, that is fine. Oh, I have to log in then for that. I think it will work. Something is fine. Yeah, yeah, I can show you my code. It is my power function. These are my first expansion. And this for calculating the factor. For calculating the factor, inverse NCR. Typical NCR. You can find anywhere. In fact, f of n, n factorial upon n minus r, r factorial into into r one by r factorial. So inverse. Okay, it is fine. 